Oh, wait, what the fuck? Wait, what the fuck? Oh, oh, dude, you're gonna rape him! What's up you guys, boy Perverted Senpai here and today I'm going to be reacting to Call of the Night Episode 7. But before we start today's episode, if you guys haven't known yet, we're going to be getting introduced by three new characters, all three girls. I think one of them is a vampire, I think her name is Siri, and the other two is Nico and it looks like she's like a boss lady or employee or something. And then the last one is Kabura, uh, I don't know what she is really but either way they all seem interesting and i'm excited how ko is going to interact with them or if nazuna is going to be the one talking to them first with that said if you guys do happen to enjoy my reaction on today's episode why not drop a like button it helps me push this type of content line up to other people that may like the same stuff as you guys do and also if you guys been seeing more of my content lately and actually been enjoying it more than you usually have been and want to see some more in the future why not hit the subscribe button if you guys haven't already but that's pretty much all i gotta talk about let's react to today's episode Hey, it's our boy Cole, you know, the guy that pulls in all the girls around town. Hey, let me guess, Akira, right? Oh, hey, it's her, the new girl. Well, what was her name again? <laughs> hmm, of course, you always want to sneak away from your boss if you somehow see them because they'll end up asking you to go to work. Damn, I mean, honestly, she looks really nice, honestly. I mean, yeah, he technically did tell her that he would make her into a vampire. Huh, interesting. So he's been thanked before, but in this way, it seems weird. Ah, uh, okay. So he wanted to help in his own way instead of like seeing that someone just needs help in general. All right, but it looks like Ko is out in the rain. And you know what? I love the sound of rain. ASMR, whatever. Rain is attracted to me. Hey, yo, wait, is that Siri? That has to be Siri. Oh, well, she's getting hit on by a guy? Oh, but she doesn't like talking to him. Hey, 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 things about to get spicy over here, boys. Oh, she's walking away. Oh, oh, damn, that was fast of her. What you think? What you think? What do you mean? You getting hit on? Uh -huh. Oh, wow, Ma masochist? Oh, okay, so I guess she's old enough to drink, so that must mean she's like around above 21 or something. Oh, okay, okay, we see. She has, you know, a bar set to the guy that she likes to hang out with. <laughs> you perv. Well, I mean, you know, our boy Ko, he's well of a perv, but he knows how to, like, you know, keep it mellow. Oh, whoa! That Landa Ray, girl! Damn, okay, Ko going for the lighthearted strategy. <laughs> he was staring right at her booze while saying that. <laughs> Yo, wait, okay, dude, this girl, this Siri girl, she's fast. Now that I noticed. Oh, no, she took him to a dark alleyway? Uh, I mean, only bad things are gonna happen here. Uh, oh, wait, is she biting him? Whoa, 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 whoa! Yo, yo, what is going on? Oh, fuck! What the hell? Yo, you better back off. That's her, man. Okay, it looks like uh, there's like territory in this place. But she just like ripped off her arm. Doesn't she feel that? Oh, so it looks like Siri knew the guy that Nasuna was talking about. And I guess she targeted him for this night. Yo, I kind of fuck with this soundtrack that's playing in the background. Wait, 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 wait. You're going to kill Ko? Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Whoa, okay. She's going to kill him. Yeah, now's go. Let's go. Protect your husbando. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh, wait, what the fuck? Wait, what the fuck? Oh, shit. So she's a vampire too? Oh, oh, dude, they're going to rape him. Dude, when Nazuna gets serious, she gets serious. So now we got two vampires. Okay, I wasn't sure this girl was going to be a vampire, but, you know, clearly she is. <laughs> Ko is screaming like a girl. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, yeah, I forgot there's... Whoa, wait, 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 hold up, hold up. They're bringing in the whole family of vampires. This is interesting. We got the businesswoman vampire, the kid vampire, the anti-social vampire. It's all coming together. All right, I wonder if they're just gonna suck his blood out of him. 
Oh, they're gonna suck the life out of this guy. Dude, Ko is in trouble. Code Red, Nazana, you gotta come over here and save his ass. Oh, oh wait, so he's just gonna become a vampire just like that? Nah, that's kind of fucking boring. Nah, I want Nazana to turn him into a vampire. Let him grow his de character development, please. <laughs> Damn, he just straight up said that he just wants Nazana. Wait, Nazuna fails romance in life? Wait, what is that supposed to mean? Yo, I mean, I'm not gonna lie, man. These girls are like, fucking hot, not gonna lie. Yeah, it kind of is insulting that... Well, I guess to them it's insulting that he's choosing a girl that can't fall in love or something like that. Oh, wow, okay. She's confident that she could easily make him fall in love with her. Oh, yeah, that is true. That is so true. <laughs> I mean, honestly, if I'm fair enough, all the other three girls almost look like exactly the same. I mean, black hair, brown hair, brown eyes, black eyes. Okay, this girl is very lustful, that's for sure. <laughs> it's kind of funny how they're just like doing girl talk in front of Ko and you know, I feel I understand Ko. I don't know what's happening. Wait, he's the one in danger. Wait, why is Ko in, in danger? Oh, ooh, my girl, Nazana, okay. Okay, so Nazana is acting different compared to how she would if she was with the other girls. What Nazana is trying to say is that she wants to go all for herself. I like how each character has their own track of music in the background. That's pretty cool, though. Dude, the way she acts, the way she acts, dude. She's not innocent, bro. She is not innocent. I swear to God. Oh, Oh, he said no. Of course, it would be the guy that you know doesn't really understand things. Yeah, dude, this guy is like vampire proof, like straight up. I mean, fair enough. Yeah, they are giving him a choice, which is you know very nice for them. <laughs> Uh, oh my god, their expressions. Ah, oh, it's so funny. Oh, hey, superhero landing! You fall in love with Nazuna chan. Oh, okay, that's why she, her face is like that. <laughs> what? Wait, guys don't dig her because how embarrassed she gets with romantic stuff? No way, dude. I, I think that's the opposite for me, dude. I find that very awesome. Oh my god, love talk. Jesus Christ. Let's just get over this and let's talk about the real thing. Who's gonna suck Ko's blood? Oh shit, no, if they actually taste Ko's blood, when they fall for him? Oh no, this is bad. Oh, oh dude, that glare. Human child. Well, I guess in their eyes, he is like a child. Oh shit, he just stunned and said it, my guy. I mean, honestly, Ko, he's so honest, dude. Wait, so why don't they trust Nazuna? I don't get it, like, there's no reason for her to lie. That's gonna be a while, that's for sure, when he turns into a vampire. <laughs> Shotgun marriage? <laughs> Damn, you see, that's what I like about Nazuna. She could talk about dirty jokes all the time. Oh man, this was a very interesting way to introduce all five characters. I was expecting three, not like five. And wait, wait, what did he say? <laughs> no matter how many years it's gonna take. Wait, what did he say wrong though? Wait, yo, wait, that that's it? Oh my god. Dude, I was expecting more. Oh, that cliffhanger. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Time to review today's episode. Okay, first of all, let me just say just the action just went zero to fucking eight or ten for me. Like, did you see that? I mean, the animation isn't as clean as I want it to be, but still that finding moment, like the slow motion is crisp, my guy. And also when Nazuna loses her shit she loses her shit my guy but don't answer me this but like if she loses her shit in the future and it's even more wild i mean i can't just imagine that situation ever again with that said siri um i was not expecting her to be in that personal trait you know i mean i do understand she has her hair like in a different color as that gal type of vibe i was just expecting her to seduce Ko, but instead she was just gonna straight up kill him i believe with that said i mean she's like pretty fast i mean of course all the vampires should be fast but like in her own speed like 
damn, she's fast. And also the new characters, I was not expecting them to be also vampires. I was expecting them to be like some sort of different role, just like the other character that was introduced the last episode. But no, yeah, they were all introduced and they were all vampires. And well, I mean, they're all hot in, in a way. But of course, I mean, Akira and Nazuna, I mean, they're, they're hot. <laughs> But before we get to talk about all these characters, let me just say that cliffhanger, that cliffhanger, like what the hell, dude? Dude, I was getting so excited, man. I thought like we were still first half of like the anime episode of today. But no, that just straight up was like all 23 minutes. I was like, dude, this is this is so short. This felt so short. I feel like I got cheated on, you know? But yeah, now they introduced these other four characters, Nico, Kabura, Hidori, and Hatsuka, I believe that's her name. And all these four other vampires, they uh, have their own personal trait. I mean, we have the MILF, the child, I guess, the teen, and well, the other MILF. And I guess they have their own way of seducing men in a way, because the girl, she goes by, you know, playing all that innocent vibe kind of girl. And the MILF is more of like leaning like making the guy say yes in a way. So far, we're only being introduced by vampire girls. I wonder if there's gonna be any vampires that are like, you know, dudes. Because I've seen the opening many times and I do see characters that are like male, but I don't know if they're like vampire or like they're just like normal humans. So there's so much still to unwrap in this anime world of Call of the Night and I'm so down to see more of this in the future. So you better know your boy, Perverse Senpai, he's gonna be hitting the mangas or actually buying the mangas as well for this call of the night because it's straight up banger dude with that said if you guys do happen to enjoy my reaction and my review on today's episode why not drop a like it helps me push this type of content line up to other people that may like the same stuff as you guys do and also if you guys been seeing more of my content lately and actually been enjoying it more than you usually have been and want to see some more in the future why not hit the subscribe button if you guys haven't already but that's pretty much all i gotta talk about it's been your boy Perry senpai i'll see you guys in the next episode